Infant Crisis Services is reporting a dramatic upturn in the number of families who come in seeking emergency supplies of diapers, baby food, and formula. The nonprofit agency says the number of babies they served in 2009 jumped 12 percent over the previous year. We expect those trends to continue. We expect that we are going to continue to see a 12, 15, 17 percent increase in the number of clients that we see this year. More than one quarter of Oklahoma's children under the age of five live in poverty. And according to the state's hunger task force, those children are at moderate to high risk for lack of food and basic necessities. Nicole Manuel brought a member of her family who's a new mother to infant crisis services today and she says she's seeing more and more members of her community finding themselves in desperate situations. If this place wasn't here I don't know what a lot of people would do. A lot of people would be hungry, clothesless and, and if it wasn't for the volunteers, the people who bring the stuff, you know, then they really wouldn't have anything. Rising costs of baby necessities are one of many ways the economy affects families with children. Infant Crisis Services spokesperson Joe Lynn Jones says for children living at the poverty level, formula and diapers can add up to nearly 10 percent of the family budget. We can't blame the fa families. We can't stop and point the finger and say, well, you didn't do this right or you should have you made a poor decision. You should have done this because in the end it really doesn't matter. It comes down to that baby that's about this long. Because kids are first, you know, kids are more important um, to make sure that they're taken care of and that they're warm and they're fed. Jones also points out proper nutrition plays a critical role in early childhood development. Expensive baby formula could lead some new mothers to try to stretch their supply by thinning the mix with too much water, a dangerous practice infant crisis services is trying to prevent. The lasting effects on that child are cognitive issues, learning disabilities. So if we don't feed and take care of our babies, no matter what situation they're in, now we're going to end up paying later because those are adults that are going to grow into uh, folks who are going to need even more services from our community, from our state government. Infant Crisis Services is now hoping to expand its base of volunteers and donors to help meet the expected rise in demand during the coming year. In Oklahoma City, Lori Rasmussen, The Oklahoma News Report.